over the last weekend, there was an article on Business Times talking about property agents touting upcoming price hikes. So what's the story behind it? Is it true or are they just trying to create FOMO? Let's find out. I guess by now, many of you might have heard of this bag called Pass Series 8. It is a 99-year development that is located all the way in the eastern corner of Singapore in Pass Series, and it was launched in late July. What was so crazy about it was that at the point in time when it was launched, it was at about $1,400, $1,500 per square foot. But before the end of the day, it had already breached the $2,000 per square foot price. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? As a result, it seems like agents have been telling the whole world that prices are going to increase across the board. Just how true is that? Well, let me give you an analogy. Ba chow mee is one of Singapore's most popular food. North, South, East, West, you can find it anywhere in Singapore. Not too long ago, $3 can get you a really big bowl of it in any neighborhood coffee shop in Singapore. Imagine one day, one new Ba chow mee store comes into the coffee shop, gives a lot more Ba chow, and they start charging $4 per bowl. Now, to the consumer out there, they'll be thinking, Whoa, Pay one dollar more, I guess so much more bar chow must be worth it. Now, what about the rest of the other bar chow store? What would they do? They'll be thinking, hey, since consumers are willing to pay four dollars, might as well I just give a little bit more bar chow. I can also start charging four dollars, what, right? Back to our property context. You know la, developers are not charity, what? Now that they've seen people are willing to pay two thousand dollars per square foot for a corner of Singapore. For those who are charging lesser than $2,000 per square foot, do you think they will gong gong tai tai, still let the price remain? Or do you think they will start slowly jack up the prices? You tell me lor.